Hey friends, uh, I'm really excited today. Uh, not just about the hockey game I'm watching tonight. I, I'm really excited today because uh, I'm going to be trying uh, not only a couple of beers I've never had before, but a couple of beers from a brand new brewery from right here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, home of the future Stanley Cup champions, Winnipeg Jets. Um, the brewery is called Good Neighbor Brewing Company. Uh, they have only been open for a few weeks. They don't even have a physical location yet. Uh, they're brewing out of Oxus Brewing Company uh, here in town. Another great brewery that I will feature on the show soon. But I just was really excited to try Good Neighbor, and I thought, what better way to do it than to just jump in and do it here on the show. Uh, so I picked up three cans yesterday. I think I'm only going to do two for the show. It's best for everyone involved if I only do two beers in the show. Um, so, uh, and I got a little hockey game I want to stay awake for later. So I, I think the ones I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the Hazy Pale Ale, and then I'll probably try the Fruited Sour Ale right after that. Uh, they also, the other one I picked up was a uh, Premium Pale Lager, a Czech-style lager that sounds really good. But uh, I'm feeling the uh, Hazy Pale Ale right now, so let's uh, start with that. So a really cool thing about this brewery, uh, other than being brand spanking new, uh, it uh, is Manitoba's first all-female uh, owned and operated uh, brewery. Uh, they say they don't want to use that as, as how they market the place, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of a cool story, and I think, that, uh, I think that's something worth celebrating. Um, but they want, to be, they want us to, of course... Judge them on their beer, and we're going to try some of that beer right now. Or I am. <laughs> you can hit pause, go buy yourself some good neighbor brewing uh, beer, and then come and join me, and then we'll do it together. Um, but as I said, they do not have their own... Uh, brewery in town yet and they don't have their own website at this point they are on social media and i will leave links to that below as well as to um one or two of the news stories that have been written about the brewery because uh i found them very interesting uh here we go so this is a hazy pale ale just to see what it's i mean i can already tell it's really really quite sweet on the nose um yeah kind of like that uh like a New England style IPA, you know, that hazy kind of color. And it's got that just, yeah, there's like a, a sweetness to the smell. Vanilla, maybe? Um, let's give it a sip. Okay, that's quite nice. That's, um, it's very light. Um, and definitely like, like a, um, I don't know, peach? I think get some peach in there. A little citrusy peach. Uh, so what do we got? We got, um, it's a hazy pale ale with uh, cryo equinaut, cryo azaka, and galaxy hops. Um, it's 4.8% alcohol, and I think everything that they do tends to be, uh, so far anyway, I mean, they've only done a handful of beers, but so far it all tends to be under... 5% alcohol. Um, I think, uh, you know, just to have a, a more, you know, it's a nice, lighter, uh, more sessionable beer, which is kind of nice. Um, it is a juicy, double dry hopped, New England style pale ale uh, with bright tropical hop notes of passion fruit, mango, papaya, peach, and tangerine. Uh, yeah, it is a very nice beer. Um, our beers are crafted to bring people together, even if that is just over the internet. Yeah, I feel like you're like, you know, your IPAs, especially like the New England style, like this is it's quite nice. But yeah, it's definitely lighter than those usually are. A lot of times you get a, a, a hazy IPA um, and, and that's, you know, it's good. It's, it's heavy in the mouthfeel and in the body, but this is not, it's, it's super, super light. Um, yeah, so what can I tell you about this brewery other than being brand spanking new, as I said? Uh, so the brewers, um, it's uh, two women from, uh, they were last at 
uh, Trans Canada Brewing Company, uh, also from here, Winnipeg, and I have featured them on the show before. Um, and uh, prior to that, they were from the. Uh, uh, they spent some time working at the Amsterdam Brewing Company in Toronto, uh, which I've been to a few times. Uh, they're a really good brewery. I mean, Toronto's like bursting with breweries and brew pubs and that kind of thing. Um, but they're one I've been to uh, more than once. Um, and like they, uh, their Bone Shaker Double IPA is the one that stands out to me. They did like a, a Space Invaders uh, IPA, I think, was them as well. Uh, I like my hops. Uh, those are the ones that stand out to me. But um, yeah, they're kind of one of the bigger, more popular breweries in Toronto. Uh, so yeah, um, these folks came from there to Winnipeg. They worked at Trans Canada, and now they're starting up uh, their own brewery. Uh, and people have been raving about their stuff for the last few weeks. I'm really happy to finally get my hands on some. I don't have any other glassware yet, but I really think it's cool that they're going with the mason jar as their, their choice of glassware. I think that's really cool. I, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on you know a couple of those for, for the basement bar here. And yeah, like I said, you have to order it from the uh, Oxus Brewing Company's website. Uh, and while you're there, uh, you can't go wrong with picking up some of Oxus's stuff as well, which uh, we'll feature soon on the show. I mean, this isn't labeled as a session ale, but like you talk about session ales and how they're lighter and alcohol, so you can have a session uh, drinking them. Uh, but that's kind of that's what this feels like to me. Is uh, yeah, it's this is really easy going. This is like beautiful summer day on the deck. Uh, have a few of them, uh, and you know, still be able to operate your barbecue afterward. It's it's just really really nice stuff. So next up on our little adventure of welcoming Good Neighbor Brewing Company uh, to the neighborhood um, is the Fruited Sour Ale. It's a subtly tart and juicy sour ale brewed with a house-made blend of fresh guava and mango puree and then finished with a touch of vanilla. Yep, let's, uh, let's dig in. Love that sound, right? We all, we, everyone else loves that sound as much as me, right? Right? Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. So for everyone who watched my video on uh, uh, German beers a little while back and my pouring skills were really bad, it's, uh, I, I hope this, this makes up for it. All right, so um, the color is not that different from what we saw in the last one, the um, hazy pale, but this is the sour, so it's going to taste a lot different. Um, oh, wow. It's, uh, yeah, it's got some real uh, funky notes on the nose. Can't quite place what that is. Yeah, I think, uh, and I mean, I'm going to be honest right now. I'm not a huge fan normally of sour beers, although I have found some in uh, uh, the last year that some of our locals have done that I have liked. Um, so I'm kind of hoping I can add this to the list. Let's uh, let's check it out. What I got off the nose on this, which was very strong, just coming out of the can, pouring into the glass. Um, so different from, from what I taste. Yeah, it's almost candy-like. Like, I'm... The, um... The... Going into this, I was a little worried there for a second, just, uh... Because, yeah, I was not liking... Uh, what was coming out uh, on the nose, but taste-wise, it's, it's actually it's, it's very nice. There's a bit of a like a dryness on the finish. The the tartness you get a lot of time in a sour like this. Uh, it's very subtle, very subtle. But on the nose, the sourness was just like coming through like crazy. It's uh, four point five percent alcohol, so again. Uh, quite sessionable, uh, as uh, was the case with the last one. Um, yeah, that's uh, quite lovely, actually. I really, I, 
I think this is a sour I can I can enjoy. Uh, you know, uh, I was gonna say a regular basis, but uh, sours to me are like a once in a while kind of thing. Again, this would be pretty nice sitting outside in a hot summer day. So uh, I think that's I think that's good neighbor's niche based on the two beers I've tried so far. So uh, again. Um, Good Neighbor Brewing Company, uh, welcome to the beer neighborhood. Uh, really enjoying the selection so far. I'm really looking forward to trying the Czech Lager tonight as I sit down and cheer on my, my hockey team. So please uh, stay safe, drink local, and uh, let's hope we can do this in person together sometime soon. Cheers. Once again,